Hello, y'all. February 18th. Oh, shit. Y'all see how I'm dressed. The darn old uh, weather phenomenon has hit North Carolina. It's extremely cold. Mind you, the landlord still hasn't came and fixed our heat. So we don't have no central air unit. So now my fear is with these ice cold temperatures across the country, our darn going, uh, hopefully it does not happen because I'm not trying to take no whole bath. But I will if I have to. I'm hoping that our pipes don't freeze because now in North in Fayetteville, North Carolina, it's 28 degrees. It's starting to get down to that temperature where the pipes can get the freezing. And the landlord just thinks it's just good for, you know, she thinks that we can just hold this out to the summer. Now, I it's not the cold really for me because y'all know I love the cold for most part. I'm a Capricorn. But... Uh, to a certain extent. It's like now, I do like a nice warm bath. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, be taking no ice bath. And I, now, I don't mind taking cold showers in the summertime. I, you know, I wash and take a warm, you know, shower. And then I immediately hit my body with the coldness. Also, just in case y'all don't know, I do suffer from full body eczema. So, that does help me out with the splash of cold water on my skin. I'm waiting for my darn going uh, thing to switch from AC mode because once again we in bipolar North Carolina so I just had to have the AC on about a day or so ago and now it's taking a minute to adjust and warm up to the heat in my car. You know, I got the heat on, but it takes a minute for the heat to kick in. So for like the first two minutes, I feel nothing but cold air blasting. But anyways, that long intro side, I am, it's 11.44 in the morning. And Diva One is out here bracing the stormy weather. That car is fucking crazy. It just did a dip in front of a whole darn going gas tank truck. Just crazy. But anyways, I got an order for $7. So $7 going two miles. So McDonald's and my person is just right up the street. And that was right after I passed up one order that was trying to take me five miles for four dollars. And of course, it's to our favorite place. Mickey D's, honey. On the Merc. So... I'm dashing in the rain, dashing in the rain. I've been giving them some relief. I've been, I, I think like the last five or six times I've been here, I have not had my camera on because partially I have not felt like dashing. I mean, you know, doing my dash videos because I've been so backed up on videos and editing and stuff. So I've been trying to give myself a break. But anyways, let me turn this camera off real quick to get this number. Y'all, that was so fast that, that they ain't even give me time to put my mask on, honey. Soon as I was trying to get my mask and stuff, what the hell? Did I just get a message? Oh! 
my stride notification. Thank goodness that it reminds me. It does sense when I'm in the car. It'd be like, are you driving to work? I'd be like, oh shoot. Now granted that I didn't miss out on too much savings because McDonald's is just literally not too far up the street. So, but shit, just in case another order comes through, I need to maximize my savings, honey. But it's taking me to my friend's neighborhood, Sleepy Hollow. Oh, y'all know how these trailers are. It's Use the left two lanes to turn left onto Murchison Road. Even though I know where where about I'm going, I don't know the trailer. No, and then you know with it raining and shit, I got to look carefully. Thank goodness it's not dark out here, cause you know the trailers are definitely not properly. Cause you know with trailers, even if their porch light is on, a lot of trailers do not have the address at the door. So it's like you got to look at the bottom of the trailer. Um, in some cases to get the address at times as opposed to looking at the door so even if they do have the uh, the porch light on and it's properly illuminated it doesn't do nothing for us as drivers um, so it is frustrating when they say contactless delivery for trailers because it's like okay I can understand you know social distancing and not want to be in contact with the dasher and all that but still you can at least be outside your trailer and you know we, I, I can drop the thing off you know we can still do social distancing so it's like common courtesy y'all common etiquette it's like if you know you live in some uh, place like that uh, and this is not just the trailer park y'all these are some apartments too I have these issues with um, high dollar apartments too so this ain't we ain't picking on the low income cause they be darn going uh, apartments I go to where it's like the rent's $1200 a month and the shit don't be properly illuminated in a quarter mile turn left onto Sleepy Hollow Drive hell actually some houses I go to two three hundred thousand dollar houses there's no excuse why your shit ain't darn going illuminated now I can understand the trailer because the trailer's um, thing is not, you know, their address is nowhere near their porch light. But some of y'all whose address is near y'all porch light. Take the next left onto Sleepy Hollow Drive, then turn right to stay on Sleepy Hollow Drive. Oh! Bitch, did you just cut me off? literally just cut. I, I, Take the next right to stay on Sleepy Hollow Drive. Then your destination will be on the right. I'll be glad I'm going in the opposite direction, ho. Let me not give them too much because they do do uh, gun shot, shots and stuff out here. So this whole back side has the same. See, this is what I be talking about. Like, it be several trailers with the same physical address number. Your destination is on the right. I didn't know it's not because I'm still looking for the letter. Let me see the letter. Okay. That's it. Oh, that's the letter M. Oh, there's E right there. Okay. My person had an E in their number address. Like, I don't understand these mix match darn on uh, the system. It's like the 20s be right there, and then you get to the 12s, and then the 10s, and the 15s, and 
and then it be different letters and shit like I don't know but then again some of these people own their trailers and others don't but anyways let me get to my customer y'all okay y'all it's really okay. pouring down thank goodness my customer met me at the door Oh no, I ain't fucking with Bojangles. Uh-uh, they forget about that. I don't give a damn if that order's $10. I ain't fucking with Bojangles. But yeah, thank goodness my customer met me at the door. So I didn't have to try to take the picture or whatnot because it's pouring down rain. And also with their, he doesn't have a cover over his arm. Some of these trailers have covers over their porches. His doesn't, so his food would have instantly gotten wet up. So, thank goodness, you know, he had the common sense to go ahead and get his food and stuff. Let me turn my emergency lights off. My emergency flashes. Oh, no, it is. The things that I do, y'all. I'm gonna have to put my defrost on. Oh Lord, I'm about to be sprayed. Oh, it didn't spray me as bad. The truck just came down and Damn, man, it's another truck coming down here. Pepsi truck, honey. I sense I have enough common sense to get a towel up in here for two reasons. You know, for when it's raining and then, you know, to put certain foods on so, you know, I don't have another incident where my darn seat gets stained up with darn spaghetti sauce. Cut. This is the first phone long short of it. Oh Lord Jesus. A, a dollar P pay ain't worth this, honey. This just might gonna be a dollar on low pay week for Diva, honey. Oh hey, why the hell I set myself up to 230 as well? Oh hell no. I don't know. I might do one more order and call it a damn day. Oh my goodness. And know what my mileage is. Oh, 136. 100, the third on thing was stuck on showing me the low temperature. Then I got to alternate between the, the defrost so my windows be clear and heating up the car. This is too much. All because my ass don't want to get back on that damn computer. But if it keeps on like this, this one might just have to darn go humble herself and just finally get back to working from the house, honey, because. These are really some dangerous conditions we are in. in a while so that must have mean that you know people are not ordering and they don't stock up on groceries the groceries are off the shelves or more likely my dash has been put on pause we got to see right now hey come on through Nikki okay y'all only get seven seconds for copyright reason but we're back at McDonald's Honey, this just works out for me, honey. They keep me close to home. <laughs> so after I denied a order for Crown's Fried Chicken trying to send me all the way down to Sapona Road, y'all know downtown 
ever since we had that hurricane, honey, I, I, I try to avoid that. It's a major flood, flood zone. So I ain't trying to mess with downtown Fayetteville, honey. Um, then they tried to send me to Fort Bragg. Of course, I haven't got my credentials yet to go back to Fort Bragg. Um, but it was only $10, and it was going 9.6 miles, so wasn't doing that. Um, I got a $4 order. Now, once again, y'all know typically I do not accept orders under $5 unless there are some exceptions, and this was the exception. It was sending me, it's sending me only 0 0.8 miles. So if there's still a $2 plus profit ratio, those are one of the exceptions. So since it's literally over $2 a mile, even though it's a $4 order, it's literally not taking me nowhere. So that's why I accepted it. But peep this, y'all. Now, I did put my thing in the freezer partially, but it is so cold that when I opened this, I kept getting the slush. I was like, How, why is this darn on feeling slushy-ish in my mouth when it wasn't when I first opened it? Honey, it is so cold that it instantaneously darn gonna freeze my drink for me. So I might need to start just putting my drinks in the car. 946. Thank you. Okay, y'all, I got to turn y'all off real quick. Okay, look like trailer parts are the theme again. Went from Sleepy Hollow to delivering to distribution drive, except it was across the street from a trailer park. It was, um, it was a, I guess a car building. Like, I don't know what it was, but I bypassed it and went to a whole different, and that's what I hate about when the stores are close together and the person knows and specify they at a store. They don't realize with GPS being off as it is, and your address is not on the building, like it's on the door, and it, I'm talking about in small letters. It's like, okay, I'm in a car, and if, if you know that from the street, the door is too far away for me to see your tiny address printed on the door, it's like you need big block letters, you know, for us dashers. So, they didn't specify that they was at a at a house. I mean, at a building as opposed to a house. And of course, the Google Maps doesn't show you that. Now, if I had the Waze app on, it would have told me I was going to a business. But the problem with the Waze app is when I do my vlogs, um, I can't have the Waze app on and minimize it like I can with the, uh, the Google uh, Maps. So I wish Waze app would be able to minimize like the Google map would do. But I eventually found them. Um, deliver it to them. And then no darn going. And my thing is this. I'm out here darn going dashing in the middle of a storm. Now I can understand my, my guy in Sleepy Hollow. Um, but the thing is I think. See and that's why I say once again. The irony of these situations. My guy in Sleepy Hollow actually did give me a tip. Once again, low income trailer neighborhood, right? But the guy who I just got finished delivering to who is at a business did not leave me no tip. It was a $3 base pay and a dollar peak pay, right? And that goes to show that sometimes, honey, people who are more lower income are a lot more generous at times than people who got it. Because here you is at a whole darn gone business and you can't even give me a dollar tip and I'm darn going delivering you food in the middle of a darn going storm morning. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Just inconsiderate. Those are the people I got to roll my eyes at. People who are in $800,000 houses that don't want to tip us dashers. People who are in darn going businesses and you don't want to tip us dashers. But here you, and it's no excuse because 
you got people literally in low income neighborhoods. I know certain I've delivered to people who was on section eight that's delivered me a tip where at times I, I can understand that they didn't leave me a tip. Those are the people that I would give exceptions to. But anyways, we're back in our favorite square, honey. We're in the Ramsey Street Square. But this time, I'm actually going to Shogun's. I think this is my first time coming to Shogun's, or it might be the second time. Y'all know I'm used to always going to Papa John's, Mika Sita's, and there's a little China right there. But we're actually going into Shogun's. It's a $10 order going four miles. So a little bit over $2 a mile. So, honey, they doing good today with your girl, honey. These $2 a mile orders, honey, I wish they'd be like this more often. Okay, that was fast, y'all. I did not know it was a red card order. Thank goodness I always keep my red card in my, um... Oh, Lord, which car is mine, y'all? There's two Nissan Rogues out here. Oh, right here. That car looks just like my car, except it got a different symbol on it. Confused the heck out of me, y'all. Lord, for this person to have six, this some big salmon they have. My customer has like six salmon rolls. Or so. Oh Lord, I don't like how they did this bag, honey. Uh-uh. And I don't like typically messing with my customer's order, but I can tell this is about to be a a catastrophe if I don't. Oh no. Whatever this is, I got to turn it over. Because it's about this, okay. But the first thing is in a bag that is secured, and then whatever is in this white thing. Yeah, it was about to come open. Oh, they got a house of Ro house of Roman soup, and one tuna tartare for a total of twenty seven dollars and ninety cents. Uh, with taxes and stuff, it came out to thirty dollars. The fact that I'm getting paid ten dollars, base pay is three dollars, the peak pay is a dollar, so that means my customer really tipped me six dollars, which is equivalent to. Oh, come on through twenty percent. See, see now if if you got it like that. Oh, got it like that. See, now this thing don't want to get in the darn on bag, though. This is crazy. So, my customer done tipped me 20%. Come on through 20%. Now, I don't know why my darn on bag is acting up. Like, this is crazy. The thing can actually fit in here. But my bag wants to fold down. What in the hell? <laughs> Y'all literally seeing me struggle with the DoorDash bag. It don't want to stand up for this order. Okay, we finally got it in. But come on through 20% tip. Honey, today is a good day in this rain for the most part. For the exception of that last customer who didn't tip me nothing at all. And they had a business. But anyways, let me get to my customer, y'all. I will be back after I drop this off. And I pick me up a Shogun menu because it's been some years since I've been to Shogun. I'm gonna see what they are about with my next mukbang okay, video. Okay, I'm done. $21 in a little over an hour. It done calmed down since I guess the rain done calmed down, so I guess people are getting in their cars and just going to the store instead now. But just a quick dash of the day. Ended off with my car nearly sliding off. Thank goodness it slid into the, uh, what, what's the zone when you're coming out of a location and it gives you a certain amount of time before you get into like the main uh, driving area. Yeah, my car, as I was trying to make a turn on Ramsey Street, it caught on to some water and just slid me right into that safe zone, honey. So, I had to wait about two minutes for the traffic to allow me to come over. 
because once again, Southern hospitality just goes out the window when it comes to driving on the road, especially on Ramsey Street, honey. But anyways, I'm getting off this darn gone crazy street and going to the house. Cause honey, my darn gone car is not about to join the statistics of all the cars that don't got into an accident on Ramsey. I think I might try to edit at least two videos today and then do at least one video today. But that's basically it in a nutshell. Oh yeah, and these roads are starting to kick back a lot of, I don't want to say steam, what's the word for it? foggy precipitation is that the word I'm looking for where the where it hits on your car and it causes your car to fog up share and subscribe and I will see y'all soon with more videos.